Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I want to do a Battlefield news roundup and let's start with the most important news currently and this is that Battlefield 5 is finally getting the Battlefield 2042 anti-cheat or EA anti-cheat what it's called and hopefully it reduces the amount of cheaters noticeable because if you play on PC Battlefield 5 is basically unplayable. If you play on official servers you have at least like one cheater. Most of the times you have a cheater on every team so the game is basically unplayable and if you play on custom servers us where they actually ban people you have the problem that if you're a really high skilled player sometimes they just ban you because they don't want to play against you so for a lot of people Battlefield 5 is kind of unplayable and with this change hopefully that means that the cheaters from Battlefield 5 hopefully get banned at least those that use like a very cheap cheat I still think that if you use like a very high very expensive cheat you still probably don't get banned in Battlefield 5 but I think or I hopefully think this new anti-cheat should clear up like 90% of the cheaters at least that's what I hope and if it's truly the case I would actually love to go back and play some more Battlefield 5 since I really enjoy this game and also the current gameplay you're seeing is probably some old Battlefield 5 which is since I haven't had the time yet to hop on the game and test everything out but if you played Battlefield 5 and you can tell me if there are a lot less cheaters let me know down in the comments below would be very interesting to see. As for some other changes Redacted 24-7 is finally back in Battlefield 2042 even though it's not really Redacted 24-7 since it's Haven and Redacted but most people probably queue for a game see haven quit the queue queue again because that's what i did i just want to play redacted so if any of you are haven enjoyers and can tell me if the lobbies even get full would be very interested to know but yeah redacted is back but this also means you will probably see a lot more gameplay now from battlefield again since redacted is the only map that is fun to play in my opinion and this also means that actually on sunday i will do the scc3 weapon guide i have some clips but now with redacted obviously i can farm a lot more clips i can get a lot more time actually shooting the gun because in haven it feels like you shoot the gun like once every two minutes or something non-redacted since i can shoot the gun a lot more I, I can make a better picture of how the gun actually performs but i can already say this the smg definitely is not overpowered so if you read online somewhere that the smg is like super strong super overpowered that's definitely not the case it's not a bad smg but it's also not super strong and honestly it feels more like an all rounder but i will talk about this on sunday when i make the guide now some other changes that came on they finally fixed some visual recall problems we had so some of you probably have seen online that the uh, events he said the problem when you used a special cosmetic with iron inside that your gun basically was like the guns in rainbow six siege when you q and e or lean spam so your gun was basically dancing around your screen this has been fixed they fixed the ak-24 the iron side was misaligned they fixed a problem where your laser side unable attachment would switch off if you ads okay then they fixed an issue that resulted in the unlock rate here for the AK5C and SCC3 being incorrectly displayed. Now they fixed a problem where the crosshair were now appropriately sized when using resolutions larger than 1080p. Previously crosshairs especially for shotguns were too large when viewed on higher resolutions. I play on 1440p and I always felt like that my shotgun crosshair was just too big because I wasn't wrong and it was actually too big. Then they fixed the respawning issue which resulted in the player deploying onto some objectives or geometry on rush, conquest and breakthrough so some quality of life fixes. And now the M 38 Condor and the MI240 Super Hind will now be present within breakthrough as intended. So basically when the season launched we had the problem that those airway kits got bugged out. I don't know how they didn't notice it but well I guess this comes back around to they don't usually test their patches before they go live. And I also heard that a lot of people like breakthrough way more without like the air vehicles but well they are now back in the game. And the last thing they changed was the Predator S4 will now correctly display a dotted line indicator when aiming down sides. I don't have the gun unlocked yet so I didn't know it was a problem. But yeah, those are all the fixes. Obviously, the biggest thing is that Battlefield 5 is finally getting an anti-cheat that hopefully works and hopefully eliminates a lot of cheaters because Battlefield 5 just have to, has the problem where you can go online, report a cheater, quit the game, come back in a week and the same cheater is still active. So hopefully this doesn't happen anymore. And if the anti-cheat does what it is supposed to do and reduces the cheater amount heavily, they might actually extend it to Battlefield 1. So people might actually can go back and play BF1 again on PC but we will see. There are some fixes for the visual recoil but even with those fixes they are still reviewing the feedback. They said on Twitter for like the visual recoil so expect more changes coming in the future probably with like the 7.1 update we will see some changes to the visual recoil some some guns, some guns especially like Max and rifles are still pretty unusable with the visual recoil but yeah those were basically all the fixes. As I said on Sunday you will get the SCC weapon guide and hopefully on the next weekend you will get 
get the uh, AK-5C depending on if I can get enough time in with the gun or not. And for Friday I don't have a video idea yet but I will figure something out. But yeah that's the news roundup. As always thank you so much for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future Battlefield content and I will see you in the next one.